Hello and welcome to another Blender tutorial brought to you by the Lewis Art. My name is Imane Lokafo and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to animate hiding ob multiple objects inside Blender. So if you've ever tried to achieve this, you'll find out that it's close to impossible um, using the collection, which is the most intuitive method of doing this since you already have all the objects grouped into one collection. Um, in one Blender, today's video, Pablo Vasquez was saying uh, it, the option was there to insert keyframe, but it was taken out because it was kind of buggy. But I'm sure if you're here or if you're just trying to get this tip, you're trying to know how you can achieve that in Blender. Uh, so let's go ahead and do it. So basically what we have now, like I stated uh, j just a few seconds ago, we cannot add keyframes. And the only way you can add keyframes to hide and show an object is doing it just based uh, just with one single object. So it would be very tedious, especially if you have like hundreds of objects here in the scene and you're trying to animate all the stunning on, off, on and off. So it's practically impossible or probably time taking and definitely frustrating. So um, I'm going to show you the way I came out, uh, came up to do this um, today. So basically what you want to do is if you have multiple objects in your scene, you might want to just go ahead and right click here, select objects. So it's going to select all the objects in this um, collection and you can hit the slash key and it's going to move up the, all the objects into a local um, view. So let's have like a more practical example. So let's say we have like other objects like a cylinder. Okay, so it's not part of this collection. So we go here, right click, select objects. So we have collected this, selected all this object and we can isolate them. Okay, cool. So now what we want to do next is to select this cube, go into the, I'm always getting this wrong, okay, the object property panel and scroll down to viewport visibility um, or probably visibility and you can see this check button so we have check viewport and also check render we just want to select one of these objects and go to the keyframe where you want to hide all those objects and selecting it um, you want to insert keyframe to establish the first keyframe whereby you have the object being visible and then you can move to another keyframe where you want it to be hidden and uncheck that okay so now we can go to the first frame and if we play the animation we can see the object hides as planned now we can select this object and if you hit ctrl i you can invert the selection or better still you can select this object go to select and invert selection okay now you want to hold down shift and select this object if you hit ctrl l l as in for lima or lama you want to select link animation data so once you do this all the objects are going to hide so that's basically it and now the good thing is all the animations for these objects are linked so it's quite um, intuitive um, because if you want to change um, the visibility or the time it goes hidden you can just move the keyframe and it does that so that's it guys i hope this was helpful if you enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a thumbs up um, on this video so it can be recommended to more blender users that would definitely find this uh, more useful um, find it useful and if you like what you see and you want to see more from me don't forget to hit that subscribe button so bye bye for now see you next time